Hello YouTube, M.A. Religion here and I'm back again with another video and as you can see here, Premier League fixtures for 2017-18 have been announced and let's get straight into the news. So they were announced at 9am this morning and um, as you can see here, Manchester United will begin the new 2017-18 Premier League fixture list with a home match against West Ham United. So um, let's go through all the Premier League fixtures and uh, bear in mind these are just preliminary fixtures, they are subject to change. Um, you know during the course of the season so don't you know don't be surprised if matches get rearranged or you know in different dates but these are the first preliminary Premier League fixtures for Manchester United so the first Premier League game that Manchester United will have will be at Old Trafford which is obviously a great sign um, the new players coming in is especially better for them to have the first Premier League game at Old Trafford their home ground you know just to get uh, used to the environment and that's I think that's a brilliant thing to have for Manchester United to have um, West Ham United at Old Trafford and um, you know West Ham United at Old Trafford we should be beating them at Old Trafford um, if they if it was away then it probably would have been a difficult match um, but I still expect Manchester United to fully you know um, come out that match with a victory um, and not just West Ham United um, this season Manchester United have to get Old Trafford to a fortress again last season there was too many draws Although, you know, we were unbeaten for a long time, it didn't really matter on the outcome of the Premier League. If all of those draws were converted into wins, or even some of them, like even, even if half the draws were converted into wins, Manchester United would have easily got a top four spot in the Premier League. And that's the only problem we had last season, is we, we didn't score enough goals, we didn't, um, you know, finish teams off. We scored one goal, and then we just tried and tried and tried, but we couldn't make the breakthrough. And then the other team at Old Trafford always used to, you know, equalise around the, around the 60th, 70th minute. And that used to be the, that was literally the story of our season at Old Trafford last season, and it was literally the theatre of draws, and it got really really boring after you know the first couple of draws at Old Trafford. But next season we have to make Old Trafford a fortress. We have to you know aim to at least win more than around sixty percent of matches at Old Trafford. Obviously, I would like us to win all of our games at Old Trafford, but you know in reality it's not re it's, it is very difficult to win all your games um, at your home ground. But we have to try. We're Manchester United. We have to get back to challenging properly for the Premier League. You know, challenging for all the trophies that we have available next season. And um, I'm really, you know, I'm really optimistic about next season. I really hope Manchester United and Mourinho can, can just we can just proper um, have a good title charge next season. And West Ham United at Old Trafford is a great way to start things off. Followed by Swansea City away. Now Swansea City, it depends what's happened with the you know players and that. If Sigurdsson leaves, if most of the players leave. Like Andre Ayew has been uh, tipped to leave. Sigurdsson has been tipped to leave. Um, so we, we, we're not really sure what's happening with Swansea City. Um, but we, sh we should be beating Swansea City away to be honest. Um, and and in my opinion Manchester United the first four fixtures have been you know very good for us. In terms of as you can see West Ham at home. Swansea away we should be beating Leicester City at Old Trafford. We should be beating Leicester City to be honest. Um, I don't really see them as a trouble making team now. Um, they had that one season, the Premier League, you know, they had the good season last season in Champions League, but in the Premier League, they were not that good enough, and um, Leicester City, you know, they're, they're just going to be a normal mid-table team now for the Premier League, in my opinion, and uh, I think they won't really cause a threat to us, but I may be wrong, obviously, I'm just predicting at the moment. Um, now, Stoke away, Stoke away is obviously a hard game for any team, but we're Manchester United, and if we want to put our signal to the rest of our rivals to say Manchester United are back and we want to win the Premier League, we must be winning these four, you know, first four fixtures. West Ham at home, Swansea away, Leicester at home, and Stoke away. If we come out of those four fixtures with the maximum points, then going into the Everton game at Old Trafford, we should have, you know, obviously Everton will have a decent team to be honest. Um, it remains to be seen how they replace Lukaku, but if they buy, if they buy in another great striker and build the team around a striker, then Everton could be you know, a, a good team next season. But if we win the first four games, it gives us momentum going into the Everton game and uh, we could come out there with a victory, at, obviously, at Old Trafford as well. Um, then we've got Southampton away, Crystal Palace away. Now, as you can see, these first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches, um, out of all of them, I only see Everton being a very challenging game. But then in terms of um, Stoke away, that will obviously be difficult, but we should be able to beat them. Now, this is, you know, very, very helpful for us. The first seven games are easily winnable for Manchester United and that if we, it depends if you come out in maximum points out of the first seven games it, it will give a real strong intent that Manchester United are back 
and obviously going into the Liverpool game, we need to carry on. We need to bring momentum in. And uh, the first Liverpool Monday night game will be Liverpool uh, Anfield. So obviously for us it will be away. So that will be later on in the season at Old Trafford. Liverpool away. That's going to be obviously a good game. I can't we can't wait for that. Very good atmosphere. Um, and then we've got Huddersfield Town, which is, you know should be a, should be a pretty straightforward game. But then we've got Tottenham, Chelsea, and Newcastle. Now, um, these three games I think will be a challenging period for us, including Liverpool, but not Huddersfield, obviously. Um, Tottenham at uh, home, you know they're a good team. Um, Chelsea away, Chelsea remain obviously they're going to be trying to retain the Premier League title. And then we've got Newcastle United. Now, many people think Newcastle will be a walk in the park, but in my opinion, it will not be Newcastle are an amazing team and Rafa Benitez. You know, I believe Rafa Benitez, Rafa Benitez. If Newcastle sign a decent amount of players and keep you know their tactics with Rafa Benitez, they could finish in the top ten, and that would be an incredible achievement by Benitez. And I and I do believe Benitez has the capability, and Newcastle do have the players of the quality to finish in the top ten in the Premier League. And I really think Newcastle will be um you know a mainstay in the Premier League now. Um, they had a bit of a patch when they went down, but Rafa Benitez is the man. He's bringing them back up to the Premier League, and I think he will do, he will do very good there. Now I'm not going to go over all these fixtures. As you can see, I'm just going to go over the standout fixtures. So then we've got Arsenal away in December. Now we've got a pr tricky fixture coming in. Um, you know, December second we've got Arsenal, and then December 9th we've got Manchester City. So th those will be tri tricky. Then we've got Bournemouth, West Brom, Leicester, Burnley, Stoke. Uh, sorry, Southampton, Everton, Stoke. Um, that's a very good run in, I think, in my opinion, uh, leading into the New Year's. Then going down, um, we've got Tottenham, Huddersfield, Newcastle, Chelsea, Liverpool. We, we've got all these fixtures. And then the last two fixtures, last three fixtures, we have Arsenal, Brighton and Watford. And, um, you know, in my opinion, we should, I think these fixtures are amazing in terms of, um, there are, there are a decent amount of teams, then there are good teams, then it's a good, it's a good mixture of teams. For Manchester United, and um, to be honest, for Manchester United, if we want to win the Premier League, we don't, we don't, we don't really have to focus on saying, "Oh, yeah, we got this team, we got that team," or then we got a hard team. We should be aiming to beat every single team that we face. That should be Manchester United aim. Obviously, that's not really gonna happen. Um, we're not gonna win every single match. It's the Premier League. We're bound to lose some games. There's bound to be some upsets. For example, we may lose against Burnley at home. You just never know what happens in the Premier League. But I do really believe. Manchester United, you know, have to be up there challenging next season, and I do believe they will be. Um, you know, considering the transfer rumors regarding Alvaro Morata, even Perisic, Fabinho. So if we do sign these players, I really believe Manchester United can, you know, win the Premier League or at least be very, very close to winning the Premier League next season. And um, you know, these Premier League fixtures they look decent to for us. They look like a decent run in the first seven games are absolutely amazing for us, and I really hope you know we can we can. Send a signal to the rivals next season, um, saying Manchester United are back and we have to make Old Trafford a fortress again. Um, that's that's the key thing. Our, our away form last season was absolutely it was pretty good. Our home form that's that's what let us down. So if we can carry that into next season with our away form, um, but we need to improve our home form. I really believe we can do a title challenge. So anyways, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. It's been MUF Religion and I'll see you guys later.